my name is Dr. Rajke and today we are going to solve a little ECG riddle together. Let's rewind to the basics. The LED or the left anterior descending artery is a big deal. It supplies the anterior wall of the left ventricle and the septum. Now if the proximal LED get blocked, you're basically getting your blood flow to the front engine of the heart. This isn't just bad, it's what we call the widow maker. Because if you don't catch it early, the chances of survival drops fast. Now, here's a quick refresher. In the classic staining, the heart muscle dies all the way through. That is what we call the transmural infarct. The injury changes how current flows in the myocardium. The result? An upward shift in the ST segment. So when you see ST elevation in leads V2 to V4, you instantly think it's an anterior volume eye. And usually, that's correct. Now comes the twist. In the winter pattern, the artery is still blocked. The patient is still in trouble. But the ECG refuses to give us the classic ST elevation cue. Instead, you will notice three things. There is upsloping ST depression at the J point in the precordial leads. Then, there is tall, sharp, symmetric T waves right after. And sometimes a small ST elevation in the AVR, which is very rare. So, why do you think is that? I mean, the same artery, the LED is getting blocked. So, why we are seeing two ECG patterns? Think about it. Same artery, same territory, but two different patterns. Now, according to our current understanding, in the STEMI, we can see the damage is all the way through from the subcardium, which is the inner layer of the heart, to the epicardium. That's why we get necrosis and the transmural infarct develop. What this transmural infarct does is it shifts the injury current to upward, which is why we can see that the, there is ST segment elevation on the ECG. On the other hand, in the D-winter pattern, only the inner layer or the sub-endocardium is getting damaged. Not the myocardium, not the epicardium. That's the reason, instead of injury current shifting upward, it shifts down. As you can see, there are tall symmetrical T waves after the ST segment, after the J point specifically, pens in STEMI also, in the early stages of ST segment elevation in your mind. Now, why this is important? Because most of the time, when, we, when the patient arrived in the ER with the chest pain, we get an ECG and we don't find any kind of ST segment elevation. We consider it as non-specific ST changes and let the patient go or let the patient get admitted. We don't suppose the immediate need for cath lab. To recap, the D-winter is STEMI equivalent. The LAD is still getting blocked. There are tall symmetrical T waves. There is upsloping ST depression. And as soon as we see that pattern, we need to act fast, spot it, and immediately alert the cath lab. That's the only way we can save the patient's anterior wall.